All right, what's going on everyone out here today with the Creighton 6S? Uh, this is pretty well modified, um, however, still nowhere near finished. As you can see, that is uh, nowhere near my standards of speed, so definitely not finished. Uh, right now, it's got a Hobby Star motor in there. I think it's a 21 tooth pinion, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've driven this car. It's got an M2C chassis in there, uh, M2C chassis braces. Uh, what else we got in there? Max 6 ESC. So it's pretty well modified. Definitely got to get more speed out of this. That is nowhere near quick enough for me. Uh, got a fan in there on the motor, a wild turbo fan, so that should be helping, but I don't know, it seems pretty underwhelming as far as speed for me. I know it's a larger vehicle, but I just expect so much more out of it. And this is on 6S. Definitely seems to be some sort of issue going on here. Uh, we're not even pulling up the front end. The last time I brought this out, uh, did something to the center dip. Had to fix the center dip. Put in a um, higher dip fluid, and should be able to crank wheelies off the bat, but definitely does not. I believe I got 500k in the center dip right now. And we are not getting any sort of wheelie going on. It feels like there's barely any power. Oh! But it's got a ton of power in reverse. Okay, so went in and Swapped out some wires, and now it is much more like it should be. Though reverse is not working. Interesting. Oh, there we go. So this is much more like it should be. This is when the Creighton becomes an animal. So that speed is more than sufficient. Just gotta make sure the heat stays under control when we come into the dead of summer. Uh, pretty soon we'll be moving out to uh, Henderson, Nevada, and it's gonna be much hotter there. I have some family over there, some aunts, uncles, cousins, uh, hi Eli, so we'll be seeing them in about a year and a half, uh, so definitely need to prep them for that kind of environment, uh, much more sand, much more heat, so each one is going to have to be kicked down a few teeth on the pinion just to allow for some extra motor heat. Right now, definitely taking back my words as far as speed. This guy is set and good to go. Definitely capable of lifting the front end off of the ground if it wants. 
That's not even full throttle. That's about half throttle. Uh, I like it. I'm happy with speed. I like the stock tires on this car. The stock body is awesome, but there is a particular body style I am after with this car, and I will find it eventually. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, because I kind of want you to see it rather than me explain it. So, eventually you will see such a thing, and, um, ooh, I am not paying attention to what I was doing there. I keep losing reverse on this. This is interesting. It seems we'd lose reverse until I get like a couple feet from the car. It's weird. Very weird. I have to look into that. Could be a receiver issue. I do have a Traxxas receiver in there. Not quite sure, but that's the second time that has happened throughout this run. This is more or less a spec based off of Rich Duperbash's setup. Uh, most of the parts are the same. Definitely need to get some more M2C stuff in there. Uh, looking at the shock parts, uh, as well as some other braces on there. They make some great parts over there. Very strong and durable, and definitely what I'm looking for. When this car hits the desert, uh, I want to throw it about 50, 60 feet in the air. So, we're just slowly prepping for that as we go along. Quite enjoyable car, even on concrete. It's got the weight to kick the rear end out and not flip over, and it's got the power to make it fun to drive on flat ground right now. I almost didn't think that was the case when I started this video. Luckily, I used my brain enough to think of swapping the motor wires out. Can't wait to put this car on dirt and hit it on full throttle. It's just an animal right now. Big thanks to Rich Duperbash for all the work he's done testing these things out and making them insane machines.
Okay, so spent just a few minutes kicking about with this thing, uh, really giving it a thrashing, and the motor is definitely getting hot to the touch. Uh, I didn't bring a thermometer out with me today, however, it is definitely too warm for my liking. Uh, we're going to end the video here and head back in for now. Uh, next time you see this car, it will probably be bumped down a tooth or two uh, on pinion size. Just because it is more than fast enough and I prefer not to have to wait uh, in the middle of a battery. I prefer to just run the battery out and wait in between batteries. Uh, so we'll be kicking it down just a little bit, making sure we keep that top speed and, you know, making it last a little bit longer because I'm sure we have about half of the battery left. Uh, so, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.